man, you can try to explore, you can try to find more to do, but eventually, you have to get back on the train. All aboard! Let's do it. Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Plays. Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Let's go! Thank you, that was a very, um, that was a very spiritual start that I need. Uh, actually... <laughs> I don't know, I'm feeling like strangely introspective right now. I was just watching a Wisecrack on YouTube and their um, their analysis of the philosophy of Bojack Horseman and about nihilism and Albert Camus and Jean-Paul Sartre, or Sartre, or however you pronounce that. And I don't know. It's why I love trains. Trains can make you think about philosophy and stuff. You, you don't have any idea what I'm talking about, but that's all right. Attention all passengers, thank you for riding the XS Express. Our next stop is our la last, Poshley Heights. The last ever? Could this be the end of the XS Express? Nah, it's fine. I gotta go find something to do, though. You should always check the dining hall first. Dining hall is most likely to have things going on that you need to know about. Oh, did you find them? My shell earrings? Yeah, I never got to give all these things to everybody, actually. Ooh, there they are! These are my earrings, thank you so much. Hey, and before I forget, take this as my thanks. Oh, Starpiece, thank you. Cute little wink in there. You are, like, the nicest old mustache overall wearing guy I've ever met. Um, have you met Wario? Because if you had, I would still be the nicest old mustache overall wearing, etc, etc. Um, let's get over to Toodles. <laughs> Ever since I've learned that that's her name, that's the only thing I can possibly think of. Like, that is a name that I have to use. Toodles. Oh my goodness. Hey, Toodles, I found your thing. Have you found my gold ring, you mystery-sniffing master? Yep, here you go. Yes, that is definitely the ring I lost. Thank you, you glorious creature. I knew you would find it without fail. I like you, Toodles. You appreciate me. It is merely a trifle, but... Please, take this as my earnest thanks. 30 coins, alright. And do take care. I will. Um, I don't know, 30 coins for a gold ring. Tend to think of coins as being, you know, pretty small potatoes, but that's alright. Is anybody... Oh, right, uh, this was, um... That was Zip Toad's room. So, where is the real Zip Toad? Are we gonna meet the real Zip Toad eventually? I don't know, let's, uh, let's talk to the engineer, though. Gotta keep this, gotta keep this moving along. This train seems to be moving along, but actually it doesn't get where it's going until I do the right things, so. We'll pull into Poshley Heights tomorrow. How was your XS Express experience? Or my EXEXEX for short. I guess I don't even have to ask. You know why, sir? Because the XS Express is fabulous. I don't know, it had fabulous really big. I... Kind of like, because the XS Express is fabulous, but I, I don't know. That's not the kind of voice I'm feeling for this guy. D just didn't feel it. I don't know. Nintendo, do you want to release a fully voice act version of this game? Of course you don't, because that defeats the entire purpose. Like, voice acting is great. I'm glad we have it. Voice actors are very talented. Some games need the voice acting, but some games need to not have voice acting so that you can better relate to the characters by imparting your own voice on them. You have to read it and decide what they sound like in your head. Hello! The mushrooms in tonight's dinner were just picked in Riverside. I didn't see a mushroom patch there. I saw a lot of rotted mushrooms. Hmm. Are you quite sure? The Oh, sorry, that's Bobbery. Mm -mm. Are you quite sure this won't give us the rage and heaves? Um, maybe you just need a strong, cheap, cheap stomach. Because they got some pretty strong stomachs. Have you seen some of those giant fish in, like, um, Super Mario, like, Super Mario Brothers 3 and stuff like that. I just stopped, like, in the middle of walking, even though I just changed the batteries on this controller. I think this controller might have had it after, man, after, like, 15 years at least. Well, I will finally get home tomorrow. It's been a rather long time, to be honest. But the hour has grown late. You should get some rest, Luigi. It has been a long day. Oh, okay, I think I'm just supposed to... Go to bed. Yeah, let's go to bed. So, tomorrow's the big day, eh, boy? Poshley Heights? We'd do well to get that crystal star before those other hooligans. Right. Let's have ourselves a snooze so we're right as rain in the morning. Is it weird that there's only two beds and one couch, but 
eight of us staying in this room. I mean, I know the other characters just kind of fold up into my pockets. Train Voyage Day 3. Aw, oh, nothing like a new day, eh, old boy? And what a cool and brisk morning. Clears the sinuses. In Paper Mario, Mario really doesn't seem like he's in his 30s. Nothing ever said that he was in his 30s. He could be in his 20s. He could be a teenager with just very generous testosterone. Um, Mario is ageless. He's as ageless as he is timeless, you know? It's just, it's a design that will never die. More people actually... Um, it's been proven, I don't know by what, I can't cite my source, but that more children nowadays recognize Mario than Mickey Mouse or Bugs Bunny. Um, he's like the new, huh, where is everyone? It's quiet. Too quiet. Um, and the conductor is not guarding the door, that's never a good thing. <gasps> it's one of those things. The door looks like it might open, but not quite like is it like stuck shut i could see a um i could see one of those things stuck to the window i know what they're called you probably know what they're called especially if you've been watching if you watch the top 10 trains and video games like i told you to do like eight times is that the shopkeeper on the ground hey man oh oh no what happened okay i'm just gonna oh no See, since I'm playing as Mario, I need to obey Mario's good nature and not steal this stuff while he's passed out. The, the game will not let me. I didn't want to anyway, I was just curious to see if I could. But, yeah, the train's still moving, so I hope the engineer is still up. Um, is the ghost still here? I got, I got an email, great. It's not really the time for this. Man... Hoggo, stop emailing me. Papanch, again? Oi, Mario. How's your stash? Life on the island feels great. When the sun rises, I wakey-wakey, and when it sets, I tuck in for snoozer time. Perfect for a simple bloke like me, right? Uh, yeah. But, what is up with this controller? Sorry. Uh, every now and then, that Cretan Flavio spits out some bit of drivel about treading water instead of seasoned life but I just tune them, tune them out. So, you off on another adventure? I think that suits you best. Give it them hooligans what for and save your princess. See, Papat remembered I was looking for a princess, and he also took... He didn't wait as long to write to me as King K did. That's why, I don't know. I don't know, I think somebody was holding that message. Can I still visit the ghost? If I, like, wait here, will the ghost still appear? Hey, man. There's a large sanctum in Poshley Heights. The picture on display there is so big, it looks like you could just jump inside. Okay, well, glad to see you're okay. Or as okay as you can be when you're, like, actually dead. Uh, nothing in here? Uh, thank you for joining me on this episode of Comic Looks in Rooms. Uh... Anybody in here? Toodles? Toodles? Are you there? Toodles? No, Toodles! They got you too! Should I, like, help the shopkeeper? Does he need medical attention? Nope, nothing here either. So... Yeah, let's, uh, let's check on the engineer. Probably the most important part. Hey, dude, something's wrong with your train, alright? Ah, good morning, sir. It's quite quiet this morning, wouldn't you say? Yeah, too quiet. Hmm? Is there something on the windshield? Oh no! Oh no! Ah, uh, the levers are all levering. The levers are all levering. Ah! What are these things? I don't know, we picked them up at Riverside though. Uh, aren't those the things from the station yesterday? They must have stowed away. W -w -w what should I do? Ah, uh, but first, we have to ensure the passenger's safety. But, 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 I have to keep driving the train. Mario, can you check on the passengers? I already did, man. None of them are here. Um, oh, and it's covering up all the windows now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, can I go out here? Yeah, I can't open while the train is in motion. But there's nobody in any of these. All I can just see is the windows being covered up. 
Oh no, oh dear. Do they taste good? Is this the yummy destruction we've talked about? No, probably not. Come to think of it, I don't remember how these things actually factor into the story. They might just be a random occurrence that we end up having to deal with. Or maybe it is something that Buttface did. Maybe Buttface started to mix those chemicals together to create what he was trying to create. I don't know, we gotta go to the back of the train though, I think that's what we're supposed to do. You guys should probably stop messing with me, okay? I got this ticket from a Mafia Don. Do you know what they're gonna do to you when they find out that you ruined my train trip? Smork, 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 smork. Smork, 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 smork. No, they've gotten inside the train cars. We have to clear them out. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do something about these guys. Oh, no, is that... Are you okay? Oh, they have the poor conductor. How horrible. Please help him. Yeah, they took the waitress. Let's see who else we can free here. Uh, come on, come on. Get off him, get off him, whoever that is. Oh, no, the conductor. Oh, you look so scared. Oh, no. Uh, Detective Mario, you saved us again? Look at his little quivery mouth. It's so cute. Hey, I must have taken by the, been taken by those black things while I was sleeping. Scary. Why didn't they come and take me then? I mean, do they know? Do they know that I'm Mario and I would screw them up? They seem to have come into the baggage car through the open window. And they still have many of our passenger, our paying passengers. Oh, those poor souls! At least they don't have our not-paying passenger, the ghost. Alright, we gotta get up there. We gotta use our special jump. Get up there. Um, gotta use special... Having trouble judging quite where the pipe is. There we go. Siddle, siddle, siddle. Siddle backwards. Doing some of the moves that he learned from Donkey Kong Jr. Oh... Oh, boy. Okay, I'm just gonna... I can't even really hammer them off. Just gotta plow my way through. Just gotta wade through. Or are they just gonna, like, cover me up and suffocate me? Oh, dear. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. I can do this. Come on, out of my way. Out of my way, you little punks. It seems like they are trying to, like completely envelop me, kind of like like the booze could do in Creepy Steeple. Smorg! Alright, we're getting smorged. We're getting smorged. It reminds me of the Snort. Um, it was a, it wasn't written by Dr. Seuss, but it was a Dr. Seuss book um, called Are You My Mother? And there's a part where the little baby bird talks to a train, and the train says that it's not a bird, it's a snort. He had to be there. Oh, look at this. They've, um, They've combined to form Voltron. What is that nasty thing? Oh, Vivian, can you stop looking so freaking happy about all of this? Seriously, people are dying. Mario, look, it's got the other passengers. Help, they all say. Oh man, they got Toodles, they got, um, it looks like they got Pennington. I can see his arm there, or his feet. They, they got the chef, they got the big guy. They got Bub, oh, we gotta save Bub. We gotta save Bub. All right, this cool, um, this cool rounding shot of the train in motion, getting some 3D elements here. Some org. Yeah, let's fight this smorg. Let's do it. I don't care about all your smorg arms. You're not going to smorg me, and you're not going to smorg them any longer. All right, train fight. Train fight. Can't flee? Of course I can't flee. People's lives are at stake. Goombella, tell us what this thing is. Tattle on it. Okay, lining up the sights. That's a smorg. That's a lot of smorgs. Lots of smorgs gathered to create a huge monster. So, the huge monster is also called smorg. One smorg, which is made up of hundreds of smorgs. Interesting. Ma max HP is 50, attack is 5, and defense is 1. It attacks with weird tentacles. Defeating the tentacles will drop the body's defense to 0, making it easier to attack. The tentacles will regenerate, but use that time to deal a ton of damage, okay? It may also take other forms with higher attack powers. I don't really know. Let's just hurry and beat this thing down so we can save those trapped passengers. Yeah, good idea. Gonna start this off with an item. Gonna use that Thunder Rage I've been hanging on to. Get him. Yeah, I probably just electrocuted all the passengers, but, you know... 
All right, how you doing there? Oh, it got big. It got big and bulbous. I don't like it. Uh, I'm going to switch you out. Going to bring in Ozzy. Ozzy, do your... Uh, not Stampede. Do your fully powered up ground pound. Going for six. Going for six damage. Nice. If we can do just a few of those, we're going to be just fine. Oh, yeah, I got my, like, really good boots now, too. This is going to do, what, like, six damage? Yeah, each each bounce does six, does three damage now. Cool. Oh, it does not take very long for the arms to regenerate, though, and they even get an attack right after they regenerate. Dang. Okay. Um, I'm having trouble aim, um, uh, timing my guards. It's not really working. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I heal one. Gonna swap. Vivian? Hit him with a fiery jinx. Oh, the smorg miasma. Love that word, miasma. And there we go. Fiery jinx activated. Good job, Mario. I'm gonna stick you to a regular attack, though. There you go. And... What do I want to hit this guy with, though, now that he's, like, all good? Maybe maybe I can... Yeah, I can set him on fire. Oh, nope. He can't be set on fire. No setting on fire allowed, I guess. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I don't know. Keep it simple. Let's just keep this simple. And here come the tentacles again. Here they come. Here they come. Oh, whoa, it's like a scorpion tail. Oh, no! Oh, this is more of a... It's it's like a smorg crane. Oh, and it hit, it, deal, it deals a decent amount of damage. Okay. But it doesn't have as much health. So... Wait, smorg miasma, smorg... Yeah, hit the miasma. Let's... Oh, that has good defense, though, too. Man. Okay. Shade fist it. I mean, uh, don't read too much into that. Get that arm out of here. And are you going to do anything? Nope, it's back to my turn again. Okay, I wanted to try this power again, because I didn't really get a good chance to do it before. Let's do a hold fast, which I do by pressing A and timing with the lights. What? Yes, I was! Yes, I was! Screw you! I hit A one extra time accidentally, though. I, I don't know. I freaked out. I'm bad. I'm bad at this. Oh, forgive me. I'm bad. Okay. I really want to get hold fast to work correctly, though. This is going to be a direct attack now, right? You're going to direct attack me? No, aren't you supposed to counter that? Isn't that the idea? Someday, someday I'll find a use for hold fast. But this has not been it. Uh, Bella, I need you back. If you can... We can try a multi-bonk here again. No, I couldn't time it. It's I, I wasn't sure where it was going to, like... I wasn't sure where the jump was going to connect with the arm, so I didn't know how to time it right, I guess. that That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, let's bring Ozzy back in. Ozzy. We need to finish this off soon. There you go. So that's going to be six damage... So something fell out off of the rafters onto Ozzy's head, and like he didn't even care. It bounced right off of him. That little guy is made of iron. Um, I don't know. Spring jump, maybe? Let's see how much damage we can do with this. Attack, spring. Press A just before stomping on an enemy. So it's the same kind of... Oh, nice. That does a lot of damage. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a clean, palpable hit. Oh, oh, right in my face. Ah, smorgs at the audience. And that's going to be the level up. What a great way to celebrate killing a giant chocolate dessert. I don't know. What is a smorg? I still don't understand that. Did, like, did Buttface actually make them and then they've, like, been slowly multiplying? Like, that's how powerful Nitro Honey is? I'm not sure, but I'm taking my badge points. I'm taking them. I've been, uh, I've been neglecting flower points lately, but Mario became an A-list star. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage get even bigger. How many am I going to get? Oh, man. That's exciting. 
Smorg, 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 smorg. And they can no longer cohede to each other, and they get blown away by the air pressing against the train, by the air resistance. Thank you! Boy, it's like you... It's like all you did for three days was save us. That's all I do, man. How can we ever thank you? Everyone's safe now. It's all thanks to you. Well, you can give me my money back, especially because I didn't pay for these tickets myself, so I'll just be rich. Oh, thank you so much. You saved my life. No, stupid tongue of mine. You saved my life. I'd kind of prefer if he didn't, like, correct himself. I think it would be funnier that way. So, did you all know this dashing fellow has been the famous Luigi all along? We will soon arrive at Poshley Heights. See, nobody even cares. If he said Mario, maybe people would get excited. Nobody likes the green Mario. Except, except the people who play Mario games. Fans love Luigi. Ladies and gentlemen, please prepare to disembark. Alright, we made it. We made it, guys. We made it off the train in one piece. And we got some time left in this episode, so I think we can explore Poshley Heights a little bit. Huh? How does that sound? Um, I don't want to end this chapter today, though. I don't want to actually grab the star because, um, I don't have time to record the next episode after I do this one, and I can't start a whole nother episode of, like, the Peach and Bowser stories. Attention all passengers, now arriving at Poshley Heights. Please, watch your step and be sure to take all your belongings with you. And thank you for choosing the XS Express. We finally made it, Gonzalez. Let's find that Poshley Sanctum and place that the that the prof was talking about, huh? Yep, let's uh find it. Actually, no, let's just uh take the rest of today to look around this area because it's a gorgeous area. Um, got to see how the other half lives. Yeah, so sorry, we're not going to finish the chapter today. We'll finish the chapter next time and then go right from there into Peach and Bowser and, you know, Luigi's Tales of Heroism and all that. We have a bit of a, of time until our next departure. Okay, good. Mario, you need some kind of, like, flying feature. I like how none of the pipes in Rugport sewers actually lead to Poshley Heights. That's how secluded it is. The business people I'm waiting for haven't arrived yet, so I'm sightseeing. On the excess... On the expensive count, of course... As if you have to ask by now. Yeah, I, I know how it is. How about you guys? How'd you make out? You wouldn't happen to have a train set for sale, would you? A gold one, perhaps? We'd dearly like to find a suitable present for little bub. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, buy him a train set. He'll love it. Doesn't have to be gold, though. He just will like it in general. Hey, mister. I'm gonna get a train set. The coolest one ever invented. I could just have them buy me a real train, but maybe I'll save that for next year. Yeah, Bob knows he has a good. What's in here? Um, this house looks sort of empty, but it also, like, looks as if I'd be able to get around the back of it. You know, like, you know how you can, like, see some wall there? Uh, but to no avail. No avail. Oh, wait, there's a little, there's a little hole in the wall. Ha ha ha. Also, there's this, like, green bucket and broom that looks like they were made in vector works uh got a badge hp drain p drop the allies drop your allies attack by one but regain one hp per attack no i don't want to like be switching around my stats like that that's that that's not how i roll i like pure gains not trade-offs i mean the trade-off is supposed to be you having that badge instead of another badge so to me it's like you're losing two things by doing that but okay ozzy let's uh head around we can't get to that pool back there, I don't think. That's alright, if we wanted to swim, we could... Uh, every time we swim, some, like, big fish bites us, so maybe we shouldn't. Toodles, you're home. Welcome, you marvelous man. The train journey certainly was thrilling, hmm? Yeah, you have a, you have a pretty nice place. I like it. I think I'll stay. Fetch me the caviar, my lady. I want it now. Alright, nah. Nah, we have stuff to do. We have more to see. There's plenty to see, plenty to do, and not particularly in here. But I bet she posts troubles on the trouble board later. I bet she's a side quest. Anything back here? No? Alright, well, let's keep checking it out. 
I like how each of the, like, boards seems to exist on, like, a little island. Like, it was like that was on a big hill. Well, they did say partially heights. This is the height part, I guess. Welcome to you! How'd you like to buy some high-quality fresh pasta as a partially souvenir? One package costs 50 coins, how about it? Oh, I do want it. I have the money for it. Thank you! <laughs> fresh pasta. Uh, 10 HP, 5 FP, not bad. I just love me some spaghetti. I hope they sell lots of spaghetti. I heard Pochley Heights was a quiet place, but there are lots of tourists, huh? Maybe I should just open up a store selling Shiver City souvenirs. Yeah, maybe so. Oh, you're from Shiver City. That's the place in the first game, right? That's Chapter 7 of Paper Mario 1. Hey, guys. We are the Wandering Girls, the Traveler Sisters 3. We're staying in that luxury hotel. Pochley Heights sure is a place for the rich and famous, huh? Yeah, we're thinking of going to see the Pochley Sanctum next. Yeah, me too. Um, but, like, next episode. What is in here? Um, oh, it's a penguin house. I guess it's sort of fun to live here, but I can't eat snow cones, in, or make a little snowman, or go ice skating, or any of the stuff I did in Shiver City, eh? Don't know what you got till it's gone. Um, oh, but you have, like, a cute little train on there. It kind of looks like the... Sp oh, yeah, you have a bunch of trains. That's... I don't recognize the second train. The first train looks like the XS Express. They actually both look kind of like trains from Spirit Tracks, though. Maybe this was, like, when Miyamoto started to get the idea for a train-based Zelda game. So, lovely house, eh? Yeah, sure. Take your time to soak in all of its majesty. I built it with even the smallest details in mind, making every nook special. Not only the interior, but the facade as well. Yeah, look around outside too. I will. I bet there's something out here. I bet there's a star piece. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I really like the star piece in your yard. That's a that's a nice touch. Anything on this side? As long as I'm exploring every corner of the facade. Yeah, life is a facade. I guess I should look behind this one too. Man, now I gotta like check every nook and cranny. Oh, look, it's the Hotel Mario. Let's go in here. But we had to get back to finding the princess. Welcome, sir. This is the Royal Poshley Park Tower. We promise a comfortable stay in the, the lap of luxury, the pinnacle of poshness. A room for the night is a mere 30 coins. That is pretty steep, actually. Would you care to stay? Nah, not today. Then we look forward to your next visit, sir. Um, oh, hey, it's you. I didn't really get the joke last time when I was in Twilight Town, but that... There was a pig that was saying le oink, and it turned out to be him that was in the shop, but the sh um, the shopkeeper's wife thought it was her husband. So that's what this guy and the shopkeeper were arguing about then, that he, like, was trying to, like, be living with his wife. It's funny, trust me. Bonjour, Monsieur Mustache. The last at the reception desk is très magnifique. I shall stay here every night until that art is mine. I shall not tire, huh? It is... I don't know, it's pretty cool that they... I like the reoccurring um, townies that they are, like the Traveling Sisters 3 and that guy, the French Afro guy, who just appear in every town that you go to. Like, it's like they're on a journey too. Though it's kind of surprising that they keep ending up at the same places as you. Um, alright. This room is nice. I'm not gonna say it's not nice, but I don't really need to spend $30 to stay the night. There's probably a block somewhere that'll hear me for five coins. Did I call it dollars before? I do that a lot. $30. $30 is actually a great price for tickets. Or for, um... You know, to stay at a hotel for the night. $30? Heck yeah. Man, that stuff is hundreds of dollars. And the third board of Poshley Heights. It may not look like it, but... I get pretty stressed out, like, really bad, eh? But walking barefoot on the grass like this makes me feel much better. You betcha. Care to join me, guy? Actually, what? my feet touching grass actually bothers me a lot. I don't like it. People ask me if I get tired of walking the same route every day. <laughs> That's because you're an NPC, you have cycles. And I say, no way, Jose, because it's a bit different every day, you know? I'm not the same as I was yesterday. Neither are you. Even the town changes. And you'll never see another day just like today, so treat each day like it is. Unique. Oh wow, that's deep. I'm gonna like 
change the way I live my life accordingly. What? There, there's killer fish in there? How deep is that fountain? Oh, I thought it would be shallow. Hey there. Poshley Heights is sure nice and warm, eh? Yeah, I really dig it here. Cold places make me sneeze. You're a penguin! What the hell? Poshley Sanctum is a rather famous building, eh? And the painting inside isn't the only gorgeous thing. So is the building. Oh, an architect guy, huh? I could just stare at it all day, you betcha. I could just stare at this shine sprite all day, except I also want to collect it. Alright, got the shine sprite. And... How do I get in here? Gone traveling, Sanctum Manager. Oh no! Is this really the end of our journey? Have we failed? No way, that stinks! What now? Ah, it is my dear Luigi. What are you doing at my doorstep, young fellow? Oh yeah, Pennington manages the Sanctum. I forgot about that, so it like, kind of pays off all the crap you put up with, with this guy being useless. Whoa, you live here? So you're the Sanctum Manager. Dude, I thought you were a detective. Well, yes. That is more like a hobby of mine, if the truth must be told. Yeah, I was thinking you should probably keep a day job. But enough chatter, hmm? Shall we go inside? Uh, I guess so, yeah. I didn't really want to end this chapter yet, but... Uh, looks like that's what's happening. Okay, guys. Um, nope, gonna stop here. Gonna stop here. You can't see me. I'm not finishing this chapter. You can't make me. So... Next time, like I said, we finish off chapter 6. Thank you for joining me for really the coolest chapter in the game. I just, I love how chill it is, even though there is stuff going on. Uh, next time, we'll, yeah, finish this up and check on Peach and Bowser. Until then, Comic Foil, get the heck out of here. I'm going to get myself a condo here. Look at how much money I have. I'm sure I could support myself here for a, a few months at least. They probably need a plumber. Probably need, you know, rich people need plumbers too. They don't want to do it themselves. I'll, I'll take the dirty job. Yeah. Ozzy, are you in? Are you into staying here? Alright, we have to save the princess. The princess?